everybody. Hope you guys are all doing awesome. If you like what I'm doing here, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos. Today we're going to take out these ceiling panels. And after we get done with that, we're going to go back to start working on the side panels. I think I have to take out all the windows and then cut out the top of the flange lip to then be able to get the panels out. So that's a little bit more of an undertaking than um, I was planning. It's not a big deal normally, but it's kind of raining here. So I don't want too much rain to come into the bus right now. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be warmer and we'll be able to knock those out. You ready? <music> wondering why I was making that face. I couldn't tell if I was being sprayed by the air chisel or if there was something in the roof and as I was pounding out that rivet it was spraying me in the face with water which is why I have to take these panels out. Most of the insulation actually looks really really good but had I only done one or two spots and called it good something like that would still be there and in the future that would cause a ton of problems. <laughs> Now I got all the center of the rivets pounded out all the way up to the front right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of them off. Take these panels down. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do with the front up there yet, but once I figure it out, um, I'll probably end up taking those out as well. I just wanna get all this other stuff done first, and then I'll come back and do that. One of the things when you're using an air chisel that's really important is you have to oil it, and you're supposed to oil them daily. I've only used this like two or three times, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and oil it right now. It's actually super, super easy. After you put the oil in, just pull the trigger. It'll open the valve and then the oil can drip down and get inside before you start to put air into it. One of the things that's really important when you're using this uh, with these rivets is, first you wanna create a small gap so that you can get the point of the chisel in there. It's filed in two ways. You can see this one's a little flatter, this one's a little steeper. The steeper one faces to the top. You can get it up in there, create that little bit of a gap, and then as soon as you get it up there, you wanna get it as flat to the ceiling as you can get it. The flatter you get it to the ceiling, the straighter it's gonna cut, and you're not gonna be cutting through this. You're gonna be only cutting through the rivet. <laughs>
Got her done. All the ceiling panels except for the very front are off. Interestingly, as you can see, most of this insulation is actually pretty good. The very last panel that I took off, there was that, which means above it there's rust, because that's all, this is just it's rust and, and it's wet. You can see right here it's wet. In the end, not too bad. For everybody who's out there who is wondering how long does the schoolie take, or if you think you're not making progress fast enough, all I did today was take out these ceiling panels. And one of them from the back was already removed. So there's six or seven, maybe eight panels that are back there. I started at 10 o'clock this morning, and I'm just getting done, and it is 4.30. And I worked on it all day. That's all I did. All day was take out rivets and take out panels. That's all I did. Didn't remove any insulation, nothing. So if you think you're not making progress fast enough, realize this is a process. It takes time. So just keep on going. The big thing is, is especially when you're taking out the rivets, because anyone who's watching this video, I hope is watching because of removing rivets. The air chisel makes it very, very easy in comparison to using a hammer and a hand chisel or a sawzall or a grinder or any of the other methods that are out there. It really, really will save you a ton of time and it'll save you a bunch of body pain. Holding that thing is like holding a shake weight for eight hours because it just nonstop is, is shaking. Um, but it's much, much easier on your body, on your hands, than going at it with a hammer and a chisel. I know when people are recording the videos, removing the rivets in the ceiling, everything gets condensed into one video. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, if anybody is doing it by themselves or even a tandem and they're doing the whole entire removal of panels in less than two days, I would be shocked. It's not something that happens you know, real quick. You don't just come in and pop a few things out and it's done. It really is a process. So just take your time, stick with it. And you know, if it's one of those things where it is the mental game, do a few panels, do something else for a little bit to take your mind away from it. Come back, do a few panels and just have the goal. I wanna get this done in a day and a half. But have other projects because you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, there's a lot of different things that you can do. When I removed this wiring, it didn't seem like it probably took too long in the video. But this is how much wire I removed out of the bus. It took me all day. And I still haven't completely got it all out of the fuse box yet. There's a ton of wire that's sitting in the fuse box that's just been clipped and it's dead. It's not going anywhere. The ends of them are right here. So it's a process. And you gotta remember that when you watch these videos. Hey everybody, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, please give me a like, hit the little bell button so that you're notified when all my new videos come. And thank you so much for the comments. I had a ton of response to questions from my video that I posted yesterday. A lot of really, really good solutions and I can't wait till tomorrow to try them out. Until then.